Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and welcome to this, the ninth and final in a series of video tutorials on how to build a visual city in Unity 5. So this episode I'm going to give you a couple more assets to play with. Uh, we'll stick a couple, of, uh, a couple into our game. I'll show you how to build the game and finally I'll show what you could actually create uh, if you put just a couple more hours work into it by placing everything where you want it to be. So first of all, uh, let's import a few assets. So I'm going to import these just here and bring them straight into our shop face textures folder within Unity. So as always, you can get these textures free from our website. Just head on over there and go to the downloads and assets section. And then you can just select which series you want and download them straight away. So let's, I'm not sure why it's put us in that folder, but there we go. In our shop face textures folder now. Let's, um, I tell you what, let's put one over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a duplicate of this one. So Control D, as always, drag it over. I'm just going to drag this one, shop 011, onto there. And you can see we have uh, this one just here now. I'm going to expand it a little now, I think. In fact, in fact first, let's drag it out of there and just into shops. Right click, uh, let's rename and let's call this shop 011. So let's extend it. Uh, let's do on the X, let's do 20. And let's also make it a little taller. So let's do 9. Now let's align it with the rest of our city. We may need, yep, we just need to change our snap settings. So edit. Snap settings, let's change it to 0 0.25, 25, 25. Now let's just bring this closer to our shop. About there. That seems about right. I'm going to quickly set that back to uh, 1. Um, what I think I'll do now is I will take this. As it's a, a garage, we'll want the road to be just ahead of it, so I'm going to duplicate and drag it that way. Duplicate, drag about there, and once more to about there. And let's finish by just taking this sidewalk or footpath or whatever you call it, and let's just drag it to about there. Okay, so that's that. So as I say, we've uh, imported a couple more shop textures there, so feel free to take them around as well. Uh, building textures, let's take uh, all of these just here, drag them straight into Unity. And what I think I'll quickly do with one of these, or two of these possibly, is just create a few more background buildings. So we'll take this one. And we'll duplicate and just bring it over here, maybe about there. Bring it down a touch, and let's just let's put this one on there and there. So now we have another background building. Uh, let's take let's take the same one again, and let's take it all the way over here behind this green store here. And let's put on this texture this time. So now you can see in the background it does start looking a little bit more like uh, a city. Uh, one more thing we will import if we go to City Extra is an under construction uh, kind of banner, like a tape kind of thing that you would place across uh, your area if it's still under construction, if you're still building it, if you're making, like, for example, a pre-alpha or beta version, you could use that to kind of restrict your player as to where they can go. Uh, I will show you that in depth a little bit more later on in this tutorial. So let's say you built your city, uh, you're happy with how it's laid out, uh, or you just want to kind of build a small version of it to make it playable. Easy. In file, 
you have build settings, build and run or build in cloud. I'm going to go over build settings because in here you can actually get to build and run. Now with Unity you can actually make it for a multitude of platforms as you can see in this list here. So you've got your web player, PC, iOS, Android, Blackberry, Windows, Xbox, PlayStation, all these there. Uh, so if you wanted to make your game for iOS you would select iOS. However bear in mind that the platform you're building it for you actually have to have that platform attached to your machine to play it and to build it. If you want to build for Windows Store, Windows Phone 8, Xbox One or Xbox 360, you need at least Windows 8 on your machine. If you have Windows 7, you won't be able to build for certainly at least the Windows Store and Windows Phone 8. You would need uh, 8, 8.1 or 10, I believe. Um, I think you can use 10 to build for Windows Phone 8 and Windows Store. Uh, let me know in the comments if that is true or not. So in this instance, I'm going to build it for PC, Mac, and Linux standalone. Now all this does is it builds uh, an .exe file and a data file for you to kind of distribute however you want to. So what I'm going to do is we want the target platform, in this case be Windows. If you're on Mac, make sure you select Mac. Same with Linux. Architecture. Most things um, uh, will run on x86. Select this if you want it to run only on 64-bit systems. I would recommend um, just choosing this one because that is 32-bit systems. Is it a development build? Yes, no, you can select. If not, then you can't do auto-connect profiler. I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure what this does. So I've never had that tick when I've built it. And you don't need to worry about script debugging. So now you can either build or build and run. Either way, when you click one of these two buttons, it will compile everything together. Obviously, if you, if you select build and run, it will compile it and then instantly run it. Again, it's the same if you went with web player. Uh, don't worry too much about this. If you ran this, build, uh, build and run, either one of them, then it will give you a data file and it will also give you a HTML file. But please keep in mind that HTML file will require um, the Unity add-on, and it does not work in Google Chrome. So as I say, for this one, we're going to choose this. Because we only have one scene in our game, we don't need to add anything in there. You don't need to add current, it will automatically build this. If you have multiple scenes, then you would add them in here. So then if you click build or build and run as I say, it will bring up the process of building. It shouldn't take too long. Um, I'm not going to click them right now because I have already gone ahead and clicked build. But as I say, you will be presented with screen. Just leave a couple of minutes and it will build. So the end result will be something like this, city data and city.exe. So if I go to city.exe, this will be something that I built originally um, before making this tutorial series just to test everything out and this was my test game. Uh, I'm going to just choose uh, let's see 640 by 400 I'm going to keep it quite small but you can choose the graphics quality and if you have a separate monitor choose it there. Windowed or full screen I'm going to keep it windowed but if you untick that it will do your entire screen in this resolution. So I'm now going to click play. You see we have this just here, made with Unity. So once you're happy with your city and you've built it, you can then do this. And you can end up with your city looking something not dissimilar to this. It's got, the, uh, it's got many aspects that we've been through in the tutorial series, i.e. this uh, subway tunnel. Back up. Uh, manholes, buildings. Now you'll notice on this one, I ha it doesn't look quite the same as the tutorial series. As I say, I built this before we did the series, just so I could show you at the end what your city could look like. Uh, you'll notice down there we have the fire. Just kind of 
firing away over there. We have the shops, and over here, as I said, with the under construction tape, it's like a, a restriction saying basically don't enter, it's under construction down here. But you can still see all down there of what's being built. You've got the background buildings, and that's about it, really. So you could effectively build further and tons of streets all using the same sort of assets. Uh, I've also seen people say, oh, I'd love to build my street or my city in this. It would be fairly easy to do. All you would need to do is go out, take pictures of your uh, shops, the buildings, play around with them, make sure they look nice, and then you could effectively just put them onto the objects within Unity. So, that is the end of this entire series. Like I say, it's not fantastic this, but everything we've learned in the past nine episodes, you can build much bigger than this. I didn't want to build much bigger than this within the tutorial because I didn't want to waste time. But that uh, demonstration you've just seen, I put that together in probably um, between one and two hours. So if you're a, a quick and efficient Unity user, you could probably do that in about the same. If you still feel like you're a bit slow, uh, you're not quite there, that demonstration that you've just seen, you could probably build that in certainly under three hours. It's not too difficult. So, as I say, that is the end of this series. Check out our other series for tons of different things. Uh, we've got a first-person shooter tutorial coming soon. Uh, we have beginner tutorials, platform tutorials, mini tutorials. Um, there's an island landscape tutorial. Check them out and see what you can do. So, thank you very much for watching. I've been Jimmy Vegas, and I hope you enjoyed the series.